So this is highly risky and I don't advise anybody doing this, <laughs> but I'm gonna try to vent this. Oh, I was trying not to put any pressure on it. What did I do? Want to do it two hands. Yeah, you could easily tear up your printer doing this, so I do not recommend it at all. But I am a highly trained technician and also left the uh, plastic on while I was doing it. Let's just hope my pop, pop will fit. And now I got all this crap in my printer. So I was trying to do this with parts you could get at Home Depot. You see this is just a male, threaded male end with a sleeve adapter. And this will just be, this will just screw on there. I'll have to make a, some kind of a washer because this, this nut won't screw all the way up. But then I can just start dry fitting my pipe. It's gonna go up at an angle and go out. So I cut myself a little piece of pipe that'll go in there. If you've ever done PVC work, you know at least fit. Did I just see a bug? What the heck? Oh, it's on my, <laughs> that's weird, it's on my phone. And then this will go, oop, that's the 90. Oh, the 45 goes right here. But what I was gonna say is you know, if you've done this before, you know these fit good and snug, so there's no reason to glue them. Besides, I may wanna move the printer at some time, and I don't want, you know, everything glued up. The nice thing about living in a tiny shack is that you can just drill holes in your walls <laughs> wherever you want to. <laughs> so I kinda know where the studs are because I built this thing. And I think I want to go up. Well, I got to go up at this angle. And I got to get past that stud. So if I had a piece of pipe that was like 30 inches long, that looks like a good number. And it would go up and go out right there. I suppose Jesus didn't want me doing this today. I got to drill a hole up there for the vent to go out. This pipe was all cut and ready to go and the stinking drill bit broke. And I was putting no pressure on it. Amazing. Okay, I'm back the next day with more patience and I changed out the bit in the hole saw. So I'm getting ready to climb up there Take the old bit out, which broke yesterday, and drill a new hole, or a hole. A hole. <laughs> I'm gonna get Barrett. He's not here to do video. Oh, that wasn't too bad. That was a cheap bit though. It didn't take anything to snap it off. Now, one of the reasons I did break it before was because I was trying to do it with that cordless drill. You gotta get the RPMs up on these hole saws. And you gotta plug them in too. She's plugged in now. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend trying to do it with one hand either. 
Let me get the insulation out of the way. If you've never wrapped insulation around your drill bit, you've never had any fun. <laughs> It'll bog you down in a heartbeat. Well, shoot, there we go. Now the other trick is getting this hole lined up straight so the pipe will go straight through. Okay. How good did I get get it lined up? Cool. Now I'm just gonna move the ladder and uh install it all right let's see if we can get her kill her okay we got her vented i don't actually smell any resin now it's kind of funny i, I filled up the, the vat there and is it gonna go down? I don't know what it's doing. Automatic feeding is not enabled. Huh. So I turned it on. Hopefully that means something. <laughs> 